Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 30 and in this tutorial I am going to show you guys how to use something called a for each loop. Okay, so let's talk about why a for each loop is useful. Okay, and if you guys watched the previous two tutorials then you'll know that I showed you guys how to loop through a normal array so basically an array with uh, numbers in the index so like with a number in the square brackets here like 0 or 1 or 2 okay and you guys know that if we wanted to loop through an array like this then our counter could be substituted into these square brackets over here and that way we could loop through our array just fine okay but that's because we were using numbers. Now you guys know that I also showed you guys how to uh, use something called an associative array where instead of using a number in these square brackets, okay, we were using a keyword or a name like Ryan or Kyle. Okay, but how do we tell the computer to start looping at Ryan and end looping at Quinton because the computer is not going to know how to loop th through from Ryan, Kyle, Sean, Quinton. I mean even you guys didn't know that I was going to loop through in that order. Okay so this is where we will use a for each loop. Okay that's where it comes in handy. And the reason that a for each loop would work here is because a for each loop doesn't use a counter, it doesn't use a starting point, and it doesn't use an ending point. Basically, you just give the for each loop an array to loop through, and it will loop for each element in that array. So that's kind of where it gets its name from. Now, you can also use a for each loop for a normal array, and there are a few other uh, collections in PHP uh, that aren't arrays that you can use a for each loop for as well. But we're just going to take a look at how to use it with an array in this tutorial. So let's take a look at the syntax. And basically you're going to type in the word for each, put into uh, parentheses and then the curly braces. And obviously the repeating code would go here. And in these parentheses this is where it starts to look a little bit different because like I said we don't use a counter we don't use a starting point and we don't use an ending point so basically we just give the for each loop an array that it needs to loop through so we are basically put an array over here and then we type in the keyword as and then this next part can look different depending on whether you are using an associative array or a normal array. So if you're using a normal array then you're just gonna go ahead and type in one variable here and you can name it anything you want. I'll just call mine value for this purpose. Okay because it's gonna actually hold the value of um, our array element. Okay and again, if you are using an associative array, then you're actually going to put in two variables here. So the first one would be your array key. Uh, so I'm just going to call my variable key, but of course you can call it anything you want. And then I'm going to put in this little symbol, which uh, if you guys have worked with associative arrays, then you know that that just describes the relationship between the key and our value. So the second part would then obviously be our value. So those are the two different ways a for each loop can look. Uh, or that probably didn't make much sense, but that's the two different ways or two different methods that you can use a for each loop. Okay. So let's take a look at how to use an associate or a f first a normal array and then we'll take a look at how to use an associative array uh, with this loop okay 
So let's make two arrays. The first one I'm going to call normal array. Surprise, surprise. And I'll set that equal to obviously array. And we'll put three names in here. So just uh, three girls' names, I guess. So the first one can be Sandra. The second one can be uh, Courtney. And the last one can be Samantha. Okay. Then let's also make an associative array. So I'll call this ASOC array. What a creative naming convention I have. And obviously this will be an array that is going to be an associative array. So the first one can be Ryan, or that's going to be our key. And the value is going to be uh, 150. So straight from the previous tutorial. Then the next one will set in as Kyle. And I think he owed me 21.95. And my dogs are barking. Okay, I told him to shut up. Okay, so uh, now we're going to put in our third value, which will have a key of Sean. And uh, we'll say that Sean owed me 99 cents. Okay, so now we've got these two arrays. Let's uh, loop through each of them. So because our first array that we're going to loop through is a normal array, we don't actually need this key. So we'll just go for each. Um, and we've got to put in the actual array name here, which is going to be normal array as value. And now that we actually have an array on our page, it's a lot more clearer or a lot more clear to see uh, what this value is going to be equal to. So the first time our loop runs or the first time it iterates, value is going to be equal to Sandra. Then the second time it iterates, value will be equal to Courtney. And the third time, value will be Samantha. So you guys kind of get the point. So let's echo out uh, value and then we'll append on our variable value and then we'll also append on a break so that everything appears on a new line. So uh, break. Okay. So now when we save this and go back to Firefox we should get value Sandra or yeah okay so value Sandra value Courtney and value Samantha so we basically printed out what the value of our variable was each time the loop iterated okay so that's basically how to use a for each loop uh, with a normal array let's take a look at how to use it with an associative array so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in our variable here or our uh, array ASOC array and because this is an associative array we're gonna have to use our key as well so key value okay uh, and now we can do some pretty cool stuff because we can type out or we can echo out our key which would obviously be the first time the loop iterates it would be Ryan and the second time the loop iterates our key would be Kyle and so on so we can say key uh, which would be, in this case be Ryan owes you and then we can echo out value obviously don't forget to put in your little uh, period symbols which append everything on and then uh, we'll just type in the break tag over here as well so that everything appears on a new line. So basically what we're printing out here is Ryan owes you then the amount that Ryan owed me which is 150. Again next time it ran Kyle owes you 21.95 and you guys obviously get the point. So let's go back here and click refresh. Ryan owes you 150, Kyle owes you 21.95 and Sean owes you 99 cents. So that's how you guys use a for each loop in PHP. 
Uh, I hope it comes in handy. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to like, comment, share, and all that other good stuff. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys in the next one.